Just so you understand negative exponents, let me give you a few examples. Let's say we have 2 to the negative 3. What we're going to do is put 1 over 2 to the positive 3, which is just going to be 1 over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 1 over 8. Negative exponent, positive result. Just be mindful of that possibility. Next, let's do 3 to the negative 2. That will be 1 over the base to the positive exponent. That's 1 over 3 squared, which is going to be 1 over 3 times 3, which is 1 over 9. And you might say, hey, give me a negative number raised to a negative exponent. OK, here we go. Let's do negative 5 to the negative 2. That will be 1 over negative 5 squared, which is 1 over negative 5 times negative 5, which is 1 over 25. Ooh, negative number, negative exponent, positive result. The more curious might say, hey, let's raise a negative number to an odd negative power. Ah, something different. So 1 over negative 5 to the positive 3, that will be 1 over negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. Ooh, the negative result you've been looking for. That's negative 1 over 125. So sometimes negative exponents yield positive results. Sometimes negative exponents yield negative results. Please be mindful of this.